angry guy here and the financial collapse will be hell on earth. The financial co collapse will be hell on earth. Guys, it's getting really rough out there. As you can see, for example, poverty in New York has soared with children bearing the brunt. This is happening all over the United States right now, but I wanted to focus in on New York just because this is a great indicator of how policies have led to serious issues. And when, when the financial collapse of, uh, uh, happens, there are already 10 cities in New York. There are 10 cities in New York right now and there there's a lot of issues breaking out in these 10 cities but check this out so the sheriff new york city residents who could not afford basic essentials jumped dramatically in 2022 with one in four children living in poverty guys that's one in four that was back in 2022 and now think about the kind of inflation that we're seeing in 2024 this article was published february 22nd 2024 after several years of declining poverty New York City saw a sharp reversal in 2022 when it experienced its largest yearly increase in the poverty level in a decade. 23% of the city's residents were unable to afford basic necessities like housing and food, according to a new report by a research group at Columbia University and Robinhood, a large philanthropic organization. In 2021, that number was 18% number of New Yorkers living in poverty, nearly 2 million in all, includes included one in four children. And of course, most of these people are women. Despite the whole boss bait thing, most of these people are that are living in poverty in New York City right now are women, women with children, single mothers with children. The findings mark a major setback for New York City, where expanded government aid during the events of 2020 had helped to counteract job losses, rising rents, and high inflation. With most of those programs ending, poverty has risen nationwide, as I pointed out, but the surge has been especially clear in New York, said Christopher Weimer, the director of the Center on Poverty and Social Policy at Columbia School of Social Work and co-author of the report. The national poverty rate in 2022 was 12.4%, up from 7.8% in 2021, the largest one-year jump on record, according to the United States Census Bureau. New York City's rate was nearly double the national average, and there are signs that the gap is widening. It's dispiriting, Dr. Weimer said. We're going in the wrong direction. The biggest reason for the increase in poverty, both nationally and in New York, was the end of the 2020, 2020 era policies like expanded child tax credit, enhanced unemployment insurance, and cash payments that helped low-income families keep up with rising costs. Guys, keep in mind, this is in lieu of, of 30 million men dropping out of the workforce. So as you can see, while people are, while predominantly women, single, single women, single mothers, and their children, the children of Chad, Tyrone, Ray, Ray, Pookie, and especially Little Poncho, are struggling just for basic survival, men have found ways of adapting and are just walking away from society entirely. 30 million men, 30 million able-bodied men in their working prime between the ages of 20, 25 and 54 have completely dropped out of the workforce. They are not working. They are not looking for work. They are surviving. They are thriving. What are they doing? These men are sleeping. They're spending seven to eight, six to eight hours a day playing video games. And that's it. They're sleeping and playing. They're eating, sleeping, and playing video games. This is, what, this is what's happening right now. Okay? Some of these guys are not even playing games. For just from the feedback in my comments, they are just chilling at home and enjoying their peace. Okay? Just chilling at home and enjoying their peace. Maybe watch a little Netflix. They don't care. There's a lot of dudes that are more than happy to sit at home and do nothing. You know, I had this one military veteran I showed you in the comments. Dude was lit, lit, legit said that he was in bed reading this comment right now, about to go back to sleep. He got, you know, he did his 20 years in the military and now he's, and now the military is paying him to stay, to pay, to stay home and sit on his couch. And this is the reality, you know, men who actually went out there 
and did you know did a lot for example public service jobs jobs that women that in, uh, women are insulting men for doing like leave these public service jobs alone leave these uh, civil servant jobs alone yeah leave these civil servant jobs alone right because these men are retiring now off these civil servant jobs and they are collecting a fat check they're collecting a fat check and if they want more money they're supplementing their income they can go out there and get more money a lot of these men don't want more money though they have more money than they need think about this very carefully if you have men who are who are you know they have two thousand dollars for example of extra money that they don't need it's they're just they're stuffing it in cryptocurrency they're putting it in investments and then they're just chilling at home if there are video games that they want they buy whatever they want they eat whatever they however whatever they want they're living very comfortably you have these guys doing this for just a handful of years. That money is going into the stock market. That money is going into cryptocurrency. That money is going into investment. That money is going into real estate. And these men don't care if they lose all of it because they have so much. They, they're so stable. They are so stable. And they have some, like I said, some of these men will receive a check for the rest of their lives. They don't care. So this money is just growing and building and building. A lot of these dudes. 10 years from now, 20 years from now are going to be millionaires. A lot. This is something we don't talk about. A lot of the men who have dropped out of society and are just staying at home, they've chosen not to have children, not to get married, not to have children. Not They're not having relationships with any, they're not, they're not dating or anything. These men are going to become millionaires because their cost of living has fallen so much despite record high inflation. And they're investing all of their money that as a result, that money is going to work for them. So a lot, there's a bunch of these guys have rental properties now. But what's happening to the money that they're getting from the rental properties? They're not taking this money and using this money to go and buy a purse, you know, buy a new car. They don't want these men don't these men love old cars. They don't have a wife, they don't have children. So they're buying the cars that they actually like. Most men don't like this gar these garbage new cars. These EVs, for example, this whole push towards electronic vehicles, something that I never that I didn't realize. And, you know, guys like Elon Musk, they don't tell you is that the batteries in these electric cars, they are losing like 50 percent of their charge after 10 years or less. It's shocking. So, I mean, for example, you have, you know, you buy a car from. You buy a car from let's say the 1960s and these cars are still running great you know and like this is frightening i don't know what the heck elon is thinking like they, they think this is a video like they think this is real stupidity like people like this is a video game and they'll turn around and say things like oh well this is a 10 year old vehicle i mean what did you expect from it 10 year old vehicle if this vehicle is at the end of its life you know you have a couple of choices you could spend fifteen thousand dollars to replace the battery or twenty thousand dollars to replace the battery or you could just buy a new car entirely like this like how stupid is that how absolutely stupid is that you know like this this is the reality we now live in so like this so so just to make it very clear Men who are walking away from society, they're saving their, you know, they're driving older cars that are that are great, that work well. They're saving all of this money. They're living the lives they actually want to live. They're driving, like I said, they're driving the actual cars they want to drive because most men don't want these new cars. Most men want an older car. They want an older car that is like, you know, like this was the car that they really they loved when they were growing up, or this car has sentimental value, or you know, and they'll get that car, they'll fix, they'll fix the issues on it. Here's something interesting that I that I've learned from other men. These what guys will do is they'll go and they'll get a car that is older deliberately. They would prefer to buy an older car than a than a, even a, than a brand new car. The reason why is because you know they can look at the car facts on the vehicle. They can look at the number of owners that have had it, and they can buy it from a person that's already fixed all the problems. Because whenever these cars come out, they they often have all these different things that need to be fixed. So someone else has already done all of that work. So they buy the vehicle. And they could, they, you know, they, 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 they maybe change a couple of things on it, change some spark plugs, you know, change the tires. Maybe it needs this or that. Put like a hunt, like you know, five hundred, a thousand dollars into it. Some, a lot of times, even less than that. And the car, and the car is fine. The car runs great. I'm telling you guys. I've said this, guys. The financial collapse will be hell on earth, and it will be predominantly 
women who are going to feel it. If you're enjoying these videos, help get the channel to 100,000 subscribers on our journey to 2 million by subscribing to the channel if you already have it, liking the video, and turning on notifications to never miss another video ever again. The financial collapse will be hell on earth. What do you guys think about everything we discussed in this video? I want to hear your thoughts, so let's talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA and walking away and she.